What's up, everybody? Justin here. This is my uh, NXT review. The end of NXT's ending, I believe, unless they have another match. Cash's Ono just came out, saved Oni Lorkin from Hodeo Atami because he's beating the crap out of him. So Cash's Ono came down, made the save. And Otami just bet out of the ring there is another match. So I guess I'll be doing another match, a live reaction, to No Way Jose and Killian Dane. So that's the main event. I forgot about it. So I'll be doing a live reaction to this, and then I'll do my review. Uh, I don't want to, uh, stupid, uh, I think, WWE Shop commercial promo. I don't feel like hearing the music or playing it on video. If you don't know what commercial promo I'm talking about, here it is. So next week, NXT, we're going to have a triple threat women's title match, elimination style. That should be very good. I'm looking forward to watching that. Even though I'm pretty sure Asuka is going to retain. Again against Nikki Cross and Ruby Riot. Now they're showing a video package. On Drew McIntyre. Showing his return. So if you hear a noise outside, like people using uh, trimmers, cutting their grass, I apologize because I got my window open. It's pretty warm in my room right now, so I need some air. So Drew McIntyre in action next week. Alright, talking about the triple threat elimination. So pretty soon here, because uh, Friday, Saturday, or Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And next week's could get very hot, like 92 degrees, 97, 98, not 98, but it's going to get very hot. So pretty soon I'm going to be uh, bringing up my air conditioner into this room. It's in the basement right now. After all that... I needed a timeout to reevaluate who I was and what so, I was. So Ember Moon now, but I tell you now doing an interview. I need to address this dilemma. Maybe you can hear it, maybe you can't. Because someone's that. cutting their damn grass. It's and like close to eight o'clock and they're cutting their grass. And I vow to you now that my next opportunity at the NXT Women's Championship will be the opportunity. So here's the main event. Here comes No Way Jose. Guy's a good entrance. Guy's pretty entertaining. A good worker. Okay. It's all your I'm staying right where I am. That's a problem, thank you. Dominican Republic weighed 245 pounds. No way, Jose! I 
again. You hear that noise outside, that buzzing. I apologize. Someone's cutting their grass. Should probably, uh, no, I don't want to shut that window. Get too hot up in here. So they're showing from two months ago when they slammed the stairs on No Way Jose's ankle. And he's injured, he's out, I guess, for two months. But now he's back. Good to have him back. Guy's entertaining. Will the guy ever be used good on the main roster? I doubt it. Because look what happened to Adam Rose. That guy had the same gimmick. He didn't go anywhere. But Adam Rose, guy killed his own career because of what he did to his wife, domestic violence. I think he was arrested for it. So here comes Sanity. New theme music. I don't like it. I like the old theme. Way better. Now I'll, I'll give it a chance. Let me listen to the whole theme. Uh, old theme is better. The old sanity theme was way better, in my opinion. So Killian Dane. Guy's huge. Guy looks scary as hell. Guy's hairy as hell. Guy's a ton of hair all over his chest. Giant beard. So no doubt Killian Dane's going to win. No doubt about it. Killian Dane is not losing this match. Jose better stop dancing now. Get ready for a fight of his life. I don't think this will go more than eight minutes. We can tell you, Young and Wolf have left the ringside area. This is a very interesting move by Sanity. I like No Way Jose. Even Guy tries hard. I don't, I don't trust him at all. Jose needs to have eyes in the back and sides of the head at the same all time. Oh, and Killian Dane early on winning for a shot. Here we go, main event is on. Channing at Killian Dane, shave your back. It's pretty funny. I didn't have much effect. So that is a mistake. Killian Dane, once again, winning for a shot. No way Jose Pye faced him, told him to bring it. No way Jose taken into the corner. Fighting back. There's a side headlock on Killian Dane. Taking a corner again. Broke it up. Broke up the side headlock. Big shot there to Killian Dane. Big man still up in the corner, sending Jose to the apron. There's a shot. Out of the top turnbuckle. Go. No way, Jose. Out of the air, and Dane is still on his feet. Oh, and a boost sending Dane through the ropes into the floor. Dane is still upright. No way, Jose. So now they're going to commercial. At least it's on the network. Commercials are like one minute only. 205 Live promo. At least the promos and commercials on the network, when you watch NXT, at least they're only like a minute long. Or maybe two minutes. So the main event should be back right after this promo. No, here we go with another promo. And listen to this god awful promo for the July pay per view. Listen. <laughs> That's what it makes me want to do to myself. Straight up slit my throat. It's god awful. 
Or do this. Or freaking knock myself out. I hate it. I hate that name of that pay per view. So the main event's back. Jose looking to take a piece out of sanity. And it's a big one in Killian Dane. Jose and Dane have gone back and forth. Dane's still in the oh, oh, What now? Talking about knocking oh, the Killian Dane, good big man. Big 300 plus pound Damn good big man can no move around thing. good. This man is vicious. He's dangerous. He's not that big, not what that overweight. The, but the, the guy's a big man. Social and political yeah. turmoil. He can fight. You know, I talk about big man and he's fat. Bo Dempsey, that guy's fat. And that guy had no talent. Oh, by the way, Bo Dempsey, fun fact. The guy blocks me on Twitter. I don't know what I ever did to the guy. I just made a joke a long, long time ago. Years ago. Probably made a joke, called him fat or something. And he blocked me for it. So, uh, Bo Dempsey, you're a stupid idiot. So Killian Dane dropping a lot of damn elbows. Pretty impressive. The guy should finish No Way Jose very soon. Should be over. Jose's a big man, six foot four, but when he's on his back, the same size as anyone else. Percy, when you were competing in NXT, you were around the likes of the Wyatt family. What does it take for superstars to go completely awry like Killian Dane is done? Uh, you just gotta get up and punch them in the mouth. Any chance you get, try to create some separation and then load your offense in. Well, no way Jose has to do that, but Killian Dane mentally, this guy is completely off the, off the handle. Because so, no way Jose trying to make a comeback. It's not happening. You have to be able to go just just got forearmed. Follow the man. Killian Dane. I think Killian Dane came in here to NXT and wanted to be part of Sanity. So if you hear another machine noise, that's uh, somebody outside. I don't know what they're doing, but I guess they're still cutting their grass with some trimmer or something. They got plugged in. So in no way Jose trying to fire up, make a baby face comeback. Four arms of Dillian... Uh, Killing Dane, not Dillian. Killing Dane's stomach. Whoa, 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 whoa. Up on the shoulders here. Dane just jumped him. Oh, Belfast Blitz. Got all of it. Nice Centon backsplash from Killing Dane. Guy should finish. Out no way, Jose very soon. Here. Hand in the face of Jose and a kick out. Jose certainly not dancing now, is he? Well, this should be over within like eyes five minutes. He's getting frustrated. He's crazed. See those eyes outside your window late at night. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Look at the power. Oh. So Killing Dean is dominating, dominating this match. Now uh, he does this, whatever the hell that means. Finisher, I guess. Kelly and Dane looking to snuff out the party here. I didn't plan to do this live reaction, but I forgot about this match. That was the main event, so I'm doing a live reaction. Now I'll do my review. Having done an NXT TV review all year long. So this is my first review. And uh, next week I will also review NXT TV. And it's chops, double chops from No Way Jose. Picking him up on his shoulders. Killian Dane got up back on his feet. Jose got him up. Hit his finisher. He's gonna do it. 
Red TKO off his shoulders. Dane kicks out. That was impressive. That was close. Jose though has to keep up the fight. He's got to keep going. But Jose's going to lose. Dane will stop him again. This monster is weakened. He's in danger. I'm going to close my window because that noise is very annoying. It's annoying. The drop kick into the corner. No way Jose's in trouble. Killian Dane thinking about it one more time. Jumbo chip that drop kick. Now he has uh, no way Jose up on his shoulders. Shoulders in Jose. But the Ulster Plantation. Finisher. Ulster Plantation. Killian Dane does the bidding of Killian Dane wins. As I said, Kelly and Dane was going to win. Took him a little bit longer than I thought, but he wins over No Way Jose in the main event. Kelly and Dane, first time we see him in singles action here on NXT. And I this was a tremendous showing. Absolutely was. So, they had a good match. I wasn't bored by it. It was a decent main event for NXT. Kelly and Dane wins over No Way Jose. Killian Dane again. If you don't know who the guy is, he's p insanity. So now to my NXT TV review for June 7th, 2017. Here's my review for NXT TV. If you don't have the network, uh, you should get it. Not just for NXT because NXT and takeovers are damn good, but you should get it. For the Cruiserweight Classic, watch you can watch that back. Get it for the uh, May Young Classic, the women's tournament that's starting in August. Get it for the UK Championship Tournament. You can watch that back. And get it for, I mean, you can watch every takeover they ever have done on the network. Also, you can get it for the monthly pay-per-views, only $9.99. That's a damn good deal for two pay-per-views a month. But I don't got to promote the network. They're doing fine. So the first match on this episode of NXT from June 7th was Heavy, mer heavy mer Machinery. I don't know why I can't say that. Heavy mer Machinery. God, I have trouble saying that word. I don't know why. So Heavy Machinery took on Lars Sullivan. This guy's a monster. Lars Sullivan. Let me turn off my uh, PlayStation. Because I don't feel like having the network running when I'm not watching. So Lars Sullivan. This guy's a giant. The guy's ugly as hell. Ugly, ugly guy. But the guy's a giant. Looked like a giant uh, Bruno San Martino, But... Lars Sullivan, the guy's uglier than Bruno. Way uglier. So Lars Sullivan teaming up with the little guy. His name was uh, Victor Andrews. They took on Heavy Machinery. Who wins? Heavy Machinery wins. Um, next, we had an interview from Sanity. Sanity with an interview. And it was decent. Um, next, we get an in-ring promo from Roderick Strong. He cuts an in-ring promo. It was good stuff. And then Bobby Roode, the glorious one, the NXT champion Bobby Roode, interrupts Roderick Strong's promo. Tells Roderick Strong, basically, you're a nobody and a nothing, stuff like that. And, and then he, uh, when Roode came out, he was acting like he was crying. It was pretty funny. And then he says to Roderick Strong, best of luck to you, kid. That is pretty funny. So at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3, I could see Roderick Strong challenging for Bobby Roode's championship. That could be a very good match. So after the Roderick Strong promo, Bobby Roode came out after that. We had the announcement, or Nikki Cross was backstage somewhere in a dark room with a spotlight on her and she was like going shaking going like this and Nikki Cross was saying 
Asuka, Ruby, Asuka, Ruby, let's play, let's play, stuff like that. And then they announced next week, triple threat women's title match, Asuka, Ruby, Riot, and Nikki Cross, elimination, triple threat match. That should be damn good. Even though Asuka's going to retain, it still should be good. Then we have a Paul Ellering, Authors of Pain Manager, Paul Ellering interview, reading from the Book of Pain. That was good. Then we have women's action up next, Sarah Logan. And I'm flying by this review because I had to sit through and do a live reaction to the main event. So Sarah Logan... I'm sure she's an indie worker. She looked decent. Sarah Logan took on the iconic duo. One half of the iconic duo, Peyton Royce. I love Peyton Royce. She is gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous. I love Peyton Royce. Big fan of her and Billy Kay, the iconic duo. They are fantastic. And they're both smoking hot. But I would prefer Peyton over Billy. Just saying. So Peyton Royce, she had a did a nice spin wheel kick in the match, and then she had a perfect plex, and pinned her one two three with a perfect plex. Peyton Royce wins over Sarah Logan. Up next we had C Andrade C Almas backstage or outside being interviewed. About his loss, his shocking loss last week, basically against a jobber. Or nobody. Almas doesn't really care that he lost. And then some woman, they ask him to make a comment, and some woman comes up to him and slaps him. I guess she didn't like him losing last week, and then she walks away from him. And then Almas just goes like this, holds his face, and they go to the next segment. Next match was Oni Lorkin. Oni Lorkin against Hideo Atami. This was pretty damn entertaining. It was hard hitting. Oni Lorkin was grabbing Atami by the face, slapping him like this over and over, slapping him. Just really stiff, hard shots to the face, slaps. Oni Lorkin put up a great fight. Nobody won because Otami started. He hit him with a GTS. L Larkin was basically, Oni Larkin was out. Then, uh, who makes a save? Cash's Ono comes out for Oni Larkin makes a save. So at the next takeover, I think we're going to see Cash's Ono against Hideo Atami. And that should be damn good. And the next takeover is NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3 before SummerSlam. So Cash is on Hideo Atami, that should be damn good. And probably Roderick Strong, Bobby Roode for the title, that should be damn good. And probably Asuka versus Ember Moon, that should be damn good once again. Because now Ember Moon is cleared. She's cleared to wrestle. Cleared by the doctors. So, main event. As I said through the live reaction, main event was No Way Jose against Killian Dane of Sanity. Killian Dane wins. This ends my NXT TV review for June 7th, 2017. Hope you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at WWE NXT Guy. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a great week. If you didn't watch NXT this week, I wouldn't say you miss that much, but... It's worth watching for Oni Larkin and Otami. That was good shit. So watch it for that match. Next week should be better because we got a women's title triple threat elimination match. Bye for everybody. Have a great week.